Hello, welcome to the class. This is the first class in financial accounting. So uh, the first question should be, what is financial accounting? To say about that, to answer to that question, we need to contrast financial accounting versus managerial accounting. In most of the accounting classes, financial accounting is uh, the first class in accounting, and then subsequently students take managerial accounting. And what's the difference between these two? Manage uh, financial accounting is intended to provide information for external users, meaning users that are outside of a company. Then, as you can guess, managerial accounting is for internal users. So uh, a typical example of uh, external users would be investors, stock investors, and a typical example of internal users uh, must be the managers. of a company. So financial accounting is to prov provide information for, as an example, stock investors. While managerial, account managerial accounting is a art of generating information for managers to develop their own, for example, strategic uh, decisions. Again, while financial accounting is to provide information for stock investors, when the information is uh, helpful in stock investors' decision-making of whether to buy the companies, your companies, shares or not. So uh, as you can see, when the users are different, the type of information should be different. So uh, in this class, we are talking about financial accounting. Okay. That said, where can we find then the financial accounting based information? Again, where, what's the age that we are living? We are living in the age of information technology, right? And you are in the accounting class. And again, accounting is the art of generating the information or recording the information. So I say that you are in the right place for the age of information technology. Okay, then where can we, as an investor, where can we find the financial accounting for us who are stock investors uh, to say uh, simply. Uh, by the way, did you ever try to invest uh, your say $10 <laughs> worth of money? Or mm -hmm. if you have some more money then what about the $100, right? If you save like 40 uh, cups of coffee, then uh, you can, call, uh, you can uh, save $100. And then uh, why don't you invest, begin your investment, right? Uh, I just say that uh, as most of you are the first year students, by beginning stock trading, you can get more real sense of what's going on in the real world, in the world on the Wall Street or you can be more interested in uh, the uh, real-time news uh, about uh, the Wall Street. Okay, then uh, the next question is, where can we find this uh, financial accounting information? The original source of data should be either companies website or the SEC website. So what is the SEC? Uh, go to the sec.gov. And SEC stands for the US Securities and Exchange Commission. So yeah, three letter uh, government agencies, one of them. So what are they? I can say that this is the financial watchdog 
of the U.S. capital market. Okay, uh, the role of SEC is uh, diverse, but uh, our current attention is companies' filings. So why are we talking about the SEC? Uh, as a result of, uh, do you know? Uh, by the way, do you know what happened in nineteen? 20s, such a long time ago, right? Like Stone Ages. Uh, what happened about this uh, 19, uh, 20s and 30s? There was a, yes, right. There was the Great Depression. Uh, as a result of Great Depression, uh, the uh, Congress decided to uh, make um, a rule, make law that uh, regulates the capital market. Uh, they are called uh, so-called the Securities Act of 1933 and 34. And then through this law, the, uh, uh, the SEC is established to regulate companies' disclosures. Okay? And then the SEC, uh, through the SEC, the accounting standard setters, uh, so-called FASB, F-A-S-B, a financial accounting uh, standards board uh, was established and they are the body that sets the uh, accounting standards. Then what is accounting standards? What are accounting standards? You can think accounting standards as languages, okay? So uh, again, we are talking about communication, the information, right? between companies and uh, the investors, right? Then to communicate, to make a communication between company and the stock investors, to say simply, they should use the same language, right? So let's, uh, let's make a, a silly example. Do you know what ciao means? By the way, that's Italian. That means hi. Okay. What about 안녕하세요? Do you know that? That's Korean. That's the same uh, hi in Korean. Okay. When uh, the companies are saying 안녕하세요, then do you think the uh, stock investors of the US can understand what that means? Really, right? To make a good understanding about what companies are saying, Right, uh, the, uh, there is something called accounting standards. Okay, that's the agreement between the world capital market participants, like grammar. Okay, again, to make a good communication between companies and uh, users, there should be a uniform language, right, like English. The same for to make a good communication between companies and the investors, there is the business language, which is, which is called accounting standards. So all of the numbers that the companies are generating should follow so-called accounting standards. And these accounting standards are called GAP, which is, which is generally accepted accounting principles. So yeah, you can just say that the two are the same thing. So companies uh, are required to make information following the gap or accounting standards. And then post uh, disclose uh, that kind of information in a uh, website uh, to the public investors. And these days, 
through a web, uh, website system called SCC's Edgar system. Uh, then uh, where can you find the uh, system? Uh, go to the www.scc.gov, click company filings. And you can see it is Edgar company filings. And here you type any uh, company's names to say uh, strictly, it should be listed companies uh, names like Nike. Then you can find that uh, the website automatically, automatically uh, finds some of the uh, company's names that contains Nike in its name. Uh, but I say that because Nike, just typing Nike uh, finds a lot of, uh, not so much the Nike that you want. I suggest you search for uh, a company using its tickers. Uh, then how, where do you find a company's ticker? Just Google it. Okay, Nike ticker. Then most likely you will find the ticker uh, at the first page of Google, Google link. It says NKE is Nike sticker. Okay, you click it. And then uh, I'm sort of old fashioned. So let's see the classic version. Okay, then in filing types, type in 10 Ks or 10 Q, or just let's type 10 dash. Then you can see that only filings of 10 Qs and 10 Ks are left out. Meaning previously there were all sorts of different types, but now we have 10 Ks and 10 Qs. Then what are 10 Ks and 10 Qs? Uh, companies are, uh, again, uh, by the, as a result of the uh, Great Depression, uh, two Securities Acts uh, uh, enacted. One is the Securities Act of 19... And the other is Securities and Exchanges. Act of 1934, and uh, this act mandates companies to disclose annual reports, which is contained in 10 Ks and also periodic or quarterly reports of which filing name is 10 Qs, okay? So these 10 Ks and 10 Qs are what uh, I looked for here. So uh, if you click documents, then you can find the entire, uh, and you see that here is the 10 Q, click the HTM file, and you can see entire uh, company's filing of 10 Q. Including, including the quarterly report. Okay, a lot of uh, legal statements, right? And then you can see that the item one is financial statements, which is the topic of chapter one. Or if you click a 10K, which is annual report, then click document. And you can see that Item eight is financial statements and supplementary data. You click it and, uh, oh, we don't have it. Uh, maybe we should click, uh, scroll down more to find, here it is. Uh, here you can see the statements. Again, financial statements of Nike you can find. Okay, and we will study from now on what each of these lines mean, okay? Another way of conveniently looking at uh, finding a statement is instead of clicking documents, click the interactive data tab.
then you can find uh, these tabs, cover page, and then the sec uh, third uh, tab uh, is a financial statement. And then click one, uh, one of them. For example, consolidated statements of income is so-called income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, a statement of stockholders' equity. These are, again, the topics of uh, this class. And you can find a tabulated uh, format of the data. Okay, uh, from, uh, from in the next video, we will begin talking about what this uh, each line means till the end of this semester. Okay, stay tuned and see you at the next video.